Hey everybody, Beyondrew TV here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Animal Habitat Speed Build video in Planet Zoo. In today's episode, we're gonna go ahead and do the African Lion for our habitat build here. And I got the idea for this from a concept art. Um, now this uh, idea of concept arts, uh, maybe some of you uh, didn't get to see the series that I did uh, in between the beta of Planet Zoo and the full release. But in between that time of, uh, there's about a month or so that we had to wait, um, I had a series called Zoo Design where we would look at different uh, concept arts and uh, Google map uh, images and uh, photos of different uh, real world zoos and stuff like that that and uh, anyways uh, long story short uh, if you haven't watched that, that series definitely uh, take a look at that and there's gonna be more of those videos coming uh, as well uh, just kind of taking a break right now during the first uh, you know first few weeks of the Planet Zoo rush of playing it every single day basically but um, anyways yeah I, I finally uh, wanted to do a habitat speed build of um, one of those concept arts basically so yeah that's what this uh, habitat is going to be based off of today so um, I'll throw up an image here of the uh, or two images I'm sorry there's two Im images today and uh, this one worked out really well and I was able to kind of use this because the uh, this first image you're gonna see here is an overhead image of pretty much like a I guess you'd say a savanna or a safari kind of uh, area or like an African kind of area and it, it really is nice because it lays out you know the uh, the height lines the different terrain lines and everything like that and you can see the uh, different like the holding areas and how big they are and like viewing areas it really just it lays it all out I bet this is from a, uh, a master plan uh, there I'm not sure where this is exactly from but uh, what zoo that is uh, but again I think this is from a master plan probably because it's laid out very very nicely so then the second uh, concept art is uh, straight up concept art um, and, the, and the fact that you can just see you know these lions and everything and how they would imagine that it would be and stuff like that so um, those two images combined uh, really really um, helped get this uh, this habitat looking exactly how um, I think it should and I think it turned out really really well so um, Speaking of uh, habitats and turning out really well and everything, uh, in the last episode with the saltwater crocodile uh, episode there, I unfortunately was not able, someone asked for it, and I was unfortunately not able to get a blueprint um, for everyone. Um, my game kind of like bugged out. It didn't even crash, it just kind of like, got hung up and just stopped like working. That was the first and only time it's, it's really done that. Um, and then when I jumped back in, um, it was a really old save. Uh, it, it was basically from, when I started the build, so I just didn't really feel like going back through and building the whole thing just to, um, you know, get the uh, blueprint up. But uh, long story short, this uh, we do have a blueprint for this, and it is going to be hopefully I put it in the comments or the description. It'll probably be one of the or two. Uh, hopefully I'll pin it and all that fun stuff. And if it's not, then it'll be in the description um, down below, so you can go ahead and put this in your zoo if you would like to. There. So um, some of the main components I really really liked about this um, when you look at the concept art. Um, the one thing I really wanted to get was this kind of I guess you would call it like pride rock almost right like it's uh, you can see how the uh, the lion or there's a like a rock structure that the lions can kind of um, peruse out to and uh, kind of get really up close to the guests and everything like that or it kind of looks like that's close it's not really that close because obviously it's always safe and stuff but um, I had a little bit of an issue with this getting the uh, lions to be able to walk up this I had this issue in beta too um, it seems that most of the animals are it's a little bit I don't know if I want to say finicky, because um, maybe it is, you know, really like that where a lot of animals can't climb up, uh, you know, rock faces too much. Well, it's not even rock faces because I feel like it's only like, you know, a little bit off the ground, but you basically just have to have it really flush with the ground overall, or um, most of the animals, except for like, you know, the chimpanzees and um, other animals that can kind of climb a little bit. Um, I noticed that when I did the uh, the bear exhibit in the beta and now the lions here that they just have a really tough time kind of utilizing all of the um, space that uh, kind of provided there because when you look at the that rock structure that I provided that um, goes out into the uh, little moat or creek or whatever you want to call it around you'd think that they'd be able to use um, pretty much most of it but there's only just a small little sliver that they uh, kind of walk up and uh, I could you could put some uh, bigger rocks up there a bigger flat surface but I still wanted to kind of keep it um, somewhat pointy I guess you would say um, and not have a big old flat surface up there so it's just something to get used to something to play around with a little bit there so um, but yeah, as we're going on you can tell that um, a big uh, theme of this, I guess, or a big uh, usage is uh, rocks. Uh, a lot of a lot of rock work here. A lot of foliage work, too, down the line, because uh, we kind of, um, like I said, we don't uh, stick to the uh, concept art fully. We kind of take some uh, creative liberties, and I kind of um, 
for the creek bed area kind of add in a lot of uh, foliage there and it kind of worked out really well because um, maybe some of you are struggling with this but um, I'm struggling with the uh, amount of foliage that I can put inside of a habitat without my animals getting like kind of pissy and um, you know their welfare going really far down I've just I mean I'm only playing sandbox right now we will have a franchise mode <clears throat> excuse me a franchise mode uh, series coming out soon but um, as I'm in sandbox mode now I kind of just make the animals deal with it <laughs> in the best way possible as far as foliage goes everything else I try and make 100% so that their welfare is still nice but um, a lot of times with the foliage for the habitats that I have built I just will kind of make it look like either the concept art that I'm looking at or roughly around it or you know if I'm looking at um, real world zoos um, most of the time when you're looking at real world zoos and the amount of foliage that they put inside habitats that are actually flushed out and stuff like that not just like pens with you know cages around or whatever but actual like new world or uh, modern zoos or anything they're really flushed out and if you do that in planet zoo it, 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 the game gets really like eh, that's too much kind of thing so um, but yeah, you, you kind of just work around it Kind of thing so here you go here we are um, putting down some more rocks and are you know literally sinking down more rocks trying to give the uh, lions more space and um, I realized that the uh, that yeah that's the whole thing the lions didn't have enough space in the habitat I, I had a moment of fear where I was like oh shoot I'm gonna have to you know expand this and redo it but I realized that I can open up here we go yeah I can open up this uh, back uh, I guess holding cell area um, where the lions would kind of have their backstage area with the uh, zookeepers and you know they'd go there at nighttime and all that fun stuff there so um, I kind of realized that I could open that up and uh, that's what we did there at first I tried to put a, a art shape in front of it a black uh, just square art shape to kind of you know mimic and make it look like it was kind of just I don't know, closed off or a dark you know uh, hallway or something they could walk to whatever but um, it didn't work out they uh, they register that the same way as they register walls so um, if you put down you know a wall they'll not be able to walk through it so same thing with the art shapes they weren't able to walk through that as well there so um, but it's it's really neat to watch their behavior uh, with the that kind of backstage building because uh, a lot of times whenever they go to bed and I, I mean I put their bedding back there but the, uh, they won't just sleep that uh, back there they'll kind of go back there and just hang out with each other and you know if they want some privacy just all three of them because uh, we have one male and two females um, all three of them will kind of go back there and just kind of lounge around and hang out with each other and uh, every once in a while they'll kind of come out and um, you know hang out in the actual habitat area but it's just kind of neat to see their behavior because it just seems like that's what you would see with um, actual lions I'm you know I'm, from what I remember at least in zoos and stuff like that if they had the choice you know they wouldn't want always want to be out in, uh, in the habitat area on exhibit they just kind of would sometimes want to be hanging out by themselves just kind of chilling out and stuff so <laughs> um, but uh, what else was I gonna say oh the uh, speaking of the pointy rock I forgot I wanted to mention um, that it was kind of a uh, it was kind of a struggle. I'm gonna throw up another screenshot um, somewhere here in the video. Hopefully now do it Drew. Do it. Do it future Drew now um, of a picture I got of the main uh, uh, male lion uh, standing on that rock there and it was it was a chore almost to get him to do that because they had the uh, they had the traversable area to go up on the point of the rock and like do the basically the the Simba moment you know the Lion King moment the ah Savannah where they're standing on it and it's just like oh epic so yeah he finally did that but it like really I had to put a cardboard box up there and a scent maker you had to put two enrichment items up there and they finally uh, went up there. I wasn't able to get any for the cinematics. They just really wouldn't do it except for the, um, uh, I think a female lion. We got one of them for just like a hot, hot minute, hot second there. But yeah, just, uh, it was just really uh, hard to get them and entice them to uh, get up there. So <laughs> I wish that they would uh, stand up there more often. But again, it's just, uh, I think it's too narrow of a spot for them to really comfortably stand. So, um, but yeah, I think pretty much other than that, um, what else I want to mention before signing off? Oh, um, if you're not following me on Twitter or uh, Discord or or those yeah those are the two main ones mainly Twitter and you want to see some uh, more pictures and some more I guess behind the scenes uh, viewings of the habitats and Thornton Hill Zoo and anything else I'm doing in you know Planet Zoo uh, be sure to be following me on uh, Twitter there it's uh, down in the description and I'll probably put it in the comments this time around as well in the uh, in the pin comment there but you know be sure to uh, follow me on there if you want to get some more behind the scenes uh, viewings of again the uh, habitat speed builds and I'll post some concept art and uh, you know we post a bunch of fun stuff over on the uh, Twitter and Discord there so be sure to uh, follow me on there and stuff like that but hey overall that is going to do it so again if you want to get this uh, habitat don't be uh, don't forget to uh, look at the comment section look at the description and go ahead and download it there and everything like that so yeah hey that's gonna do it for me there I uh, enjoy the rest of the time lapse not much left there and yeah until the next habitat speed build uh, video there have a good one everyone thanks so much